playing songs. If you want to follow along with this chapter, you'll need to restart your PA5X so we'll both be in the same place from the beginning. And reset the crossfade slider by moving it a bit and setting it to the left. The PA5X is able to play two song files at the same time and crossfade from one to the other. But not only from a MIDI file to another, or to an MP3 file, but from a song file to a style as well. The files are played directly from the internal memory or from media inserted into the USB host port on the back or on the top right of the PA5X. If you want to follow along with this exercise, you'll need a USB flash drive with a MIDI file, a karaoke MIDI file, and an MP3 on it. Insert the flash drive here into the USB port on the top right of the instrument. Let's put a standard MIDI file on player 1. Touch here and touch song at the top of the display. All the connected and internal drives are listed here on the left. Touch your USB drive to show the available files. Touch the name of the MIDI file you want for player 1 and press exit. And let's put an MP3 file on player 2. Instead of accessing the Song Select window by touching the display, use the faster way by pressing the Player 2 Song button. Your USB drive is probably still selected on the left. Touch the MP3 you want for Player 2 and press Exit. Start Player 1, then Player 2, and use the crossfade slider to smoothly change from one song to the other. Then crossfade back to player 1. Press stop on both players. By the way, like we saw in the Styles chapter, Tempo Lock will synchronize both players, whether they are both playing a MIDI file, or one playing a MIDI file and the other a style. Some MIDI files have lyrics embedded in them, for example a file with a .kar extension. Let's select a .kar song for player 1. Start. To show the lyrics, press the Lyrics button located to the right of the display. The lyrics follow along. The PA5X can even display the Plus G graphical format as well as lyrics embedded in MP3s. If there are no lyrics embedded, you have the option to have the lyrics in a text file and use the value controls, a foot switch, or assign one of the Control Section User buttons to advance the pages of text. Pressing the score button beside the lyrics button displays a selected track's musical notation. Press exit and stop. Many MIDI files have song marker events. These can be read by the PA5X. I'll load this song called Marker SMF. Press start. When I press the marker button here, the markers are displayed. I can either select them on the display, or use the Style Element buttons. I can touch here to loop the selected section. Press Exit. If your MIDI song doesn't have markers, you can easily create your own. I'll load in this MIDI file called Blues Guitar, and go back to the Markers page. All you do is play the song, and where you want the marker, touch Add. If you touch Add within the early beats of a measure, the beginning of the current measure is saved as a marker. If you touch Add within the last beat of a measure, the beginning of the following measure is saved as a marker. Let's add a few. Once you've added your markers, press Exit, Page Menu, Save Song, and Yes. The markers are now saved in your MIDI file.